VDB function calculates the depreciation of an asset for a single period or partial periods by using the declining balance method. VDB stands for variable declining balance and the function switches to straight line depreciation when depreciation is greater than the declining balance calculation. VDB calculates depreciation for a single period and accumulated depreciation between two periods. This is the syntax. Cost the initial cost of the asset, salvage, the value of the asset at the end of the useful life, life, the number of periods during which the asset is depreciated known as useful life of the asset. Start period, the starting period for which you want to calculate the depreciation. End period, the ending period for which you want to calculate the depreciation. Start and end periods must use the same unit of measure as life. Factor, optional, the rate at which the balance declines. If omitted, it is assumed to be 2, corresponding to the double declining balance method. No switch, a logical value specifying whether to switch to straight line depreciation method when depreciation is greater than the declining balance calculation. True, do not switch to straight line depreciation. The function always uses the declining balance calculation. False or omitted, switch to straight line depreciation. Function returns the larger of these two values. The first value is the value of depreciation calculated using the double declining balance method. And the second value is the value of depreciation calculated using the straight line method. This table explains the usage of start period and end period. 0 to 1 depreciation until period 1, 2 to 4 depreciation in period 3 and 4, 3 to 4 depreciation in period 4, 2 to 5 depreciation in periods 3, 4 and 5, 1.5 to 2.75 depreciation from the second half of period 2 to 3 fourth of period 3. For better understanding, look at the column with dates. Suppose the first period is the year 2000 from January 1st to December 31st. 0 to 1 depreciation from 1 1 2000 to 12 31 2000. 3 to 4 depreciation from 1 1 2003 to 12 31 2003. 1.5 to 2.75 depreciation from 7 1 2001 to 9 30 2002. Consider an asset with initial cost of 25,000 with a salvage value of 15,000 and 6 years of useful life. Calculate the depreciation for individual periods using VDB and DDB functions. For VDB function, for period 1, pass start period as 0 and end period as 1. Pass 2 as factor and no switch equal to true to always use declining balance method. For period 2, start period as 1 and end period as 2 and so on. For DDB function, pass 1, 2 etc. for period and 2 for factor. The depreciation in each of the 6 periods calculated by both the functions is the same. VDB can calculate the accumulated depreciation between 2 intervals within the asset's useful life. For accumulated depreciation of periods 2 and 3, pass start period as 1 and end period as 3. It is equal to the sum of depreciation of period 2 and period 3. Start period 0 and start period 3 returns the accumulated depreciation up to period 3. Start period 2 and start period 5 returns the accumulated depreciation of periods 3, 4 and 5. To get the total accumulated depreciation at the end of life, enter start period as 0 and end period as 6. The VDB function accepts partial periods. For example, enter 0 and 0.25. It returns depreciation for first quarter of period 1. For second quarter, enter 0.25 and 0.5. When you add all the four quarters, you will get the depreciation for period 1. When the last argument, no switch, is false, 
the function will calculate using both the methods and choose largest one. In column B, depreciation is calculated using no switch as true and in column C, no switch as false. In column D, value after depreciation is calculated by subtracting depreciation in current period from the value after depreciation in the previous period. In column E, depreciation on the remaining balance and remaining periods is calculated using the SLN function. In period 5, the depreciation value calculated by VDB function is less than the value calculated by SLN function. Since no switch is false, the method is switched to straight line method from this period and the value calculated by SLN method is returned. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.